In this video, we'll be talking about the user shape in Orchard. The user shape in Orchard displays the sign in button and the sign out if the user is logged in, as well as the dashboard link and the change password link. So this uh, shape comes from the core shape only. Orchard.co shapes views and user.cshtml. So just we'll have a walkthrough uh, with this code. First we are opening a div tag and we are uh, doing some null checks. If the user is not null then we'll display uh, a small text uh, using the localized t, t string methods. Welcome and we'll display a link uh, using url.action and the action name is change password, the controller name is account and the area that is the module name is coming from the modules area and the module name is area name or the module name is user users orchard.users and we are displaying the name of the user with the help of work context, work context dot current user. And next we are displaying the sign out button uh, and the name of the action is uh, log off, account is the controller name and same the area is our chart dot users and the return URL will be context dot request dot raw URL and we are using the no follow so the search engines won't follow this this URL or the link for the log off button and we are giving a name uh, to this action link with the help of the t string methods and the name is sign out. Next we are doing some checks uh, if the user is having the permission uh, of the admin panel if it's true the user will see a dashboard link uh, the name of the action is index, the area is dashboard and the controller name is admin or else if uh, the, the context, the current user context is null, the user will be displayed a link to sign in and as well as register if the registering is turned on by the uh, site administrator. Let's go and create our own user.cshtml file. We'll go inside the themes folder, BS theme and we'll create a user razor template. We'll delete this code and I have already created the user.cshtml code. We'll just have a walkthrough. Uh, we are opening a ul tag with a class of nav nav bar nav pull right so this these these classes are coming from the bootstrap framework twitter bootstrap and next we are doing the null check if the current user context is not null we are opening an li tag with a class of drop down and then we are displaying the welcome uh, text with the name of the user coming from the user uh, work context current user and we are displaying a small caret so that when the user clicks that caret uh, we display a small drop down menu and we are using a ul tag with a class of drop down menu and then we are including the change password as well as the sign out button or link using the html.action link method and we are localizing the change password text and the action here is change password and the control is account and the area name is orchard.user. Similarly for the logout, log off is the action name and the controller is account, area is orchard.user. And we are doing some checks for the permission if the user is having the permission to access the admin panel. Uh, a URL to access the dashboard will be displayed. Else, if the work context .user, current user 
uh, property is null, the user will be displayed a link to sign in and or, or a registered link if the registering system is activated by the site administrator. Let's go back to the website and refresh and this, this sign in button should go to the right because we are using the pull right class coming from bootstrap and here it goes click sign in and we can just log in click sign in and here is the welcome message with the uh, name of the user uh, the name of the user is admin let's click this small carrot and here is the change password link the sign out and the dashboard link so this is how you create your own uh, user dot CSHTML file or user shape okay so see you in the next video thank you